Hello everyone and welcome to day 12 of 12 days of BioPython where I will post one video per day related to bioinformatics topics using BioPython. I hope you enjoyed this initiative as this is the last video in the series. If you still haven't, please make sure to subscribe to support this. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to filter FastQ file by thread quality scores. So let's get started. So one common task when working with FastQ file is to take a large set of sequence reads and filter them based on their quality scores. So here we are going to read the FastQ data and filter it to pick only those records whose thread quality score is above some threshold. So once again, first thing we do is we get the data with wget command from this link here. And this will, uh, this will give us the zipped FastQ file. The next thing we need to do is unzip it. So first what we are going to do is we are going to go through the through this FastQ file one by one. We are going to parse the records. So we are going to read the sequence records one by one and we are going to count to see how many reads we have. And in total we have 41,892 reads. Then we are going to check on our sample sequence how this, uh, how this thread quality score look like. And we can access the access them by using dot letter annotation attribute which gives us back the dictionary and we we access the thread quality scores by uh, by accessing the key thread quality and we see that this will give us back the list of thread quality scores per nucleotide what we are going to do is we are going to filter out only those sequences where minimum quality scores above list is greater than or equal to 20. So once again, we are going to go through our sequence, we are going to parse our FastQ file, and for each of the sequence record, we are going to check if the minimum of our thread quality scores is greater than or equal to 20. And we are going to save this in Goodreads variable. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to write this Goodreads into the FastQ file. And when we write, it gives us back the number of written sequence reads. So in this case, the amount that we saved is 20,050 reads. It means that we filtered almost half of the data due to, the, due to bad quality scores. So we pulled only 2,050 reads out of the 41,892 presents. So this is how you can easily filter FastQ file. So that was it for the last video in 12 days of BioPython series. I wish you all the best for holidays and see you back again in January when I will continue to make new videos. Until then, bye bye.